so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. Deontay Wilder, he is the bronze bomber. Fighting out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the former heavyweight champion of the world. Look at this, these fights are so up for it. Look at that. Needless to say, everyone is excited to see this one. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Manchester, England. And standing at 6 feet 9 inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Hiding out of the blue corner, an Olympic bronze medalist from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, a hard-hitting sensational knockout artist, and a WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. Right. This is what you'll be talking about for years to come. This is what your kids, your grandkids will be talking about. What a venue, what a fight, what action. These athletes have promised us a war. Let's see if they deliver. Good counter punching from both these fighters. And lands. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Really good buzz in the air tonight. This crowd waiting for something special. Situations like this target will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Neither man really defending themselves. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counterpunch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counterpunch is good. They are the people that make the history of our sport. They score again with the left hand. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep the same kind of... Here we go for round two. Nice shot with the left. Fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. How you deal with a slugger? You've got to use brain over brawn. Ball in the match door. Pop, jab, move. Get them angry.
exchanges from both men in this round. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to show both and show off them. Bam! It's over. But it's got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. He just misses with that big right hand. Shot lands. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. That was almost a 10 8 round. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain there. He fails to score with that left hook. That one will count. Tyson Fury in serious trouble. I don't see how he's going to get out of this. A lot of heart being shown here, but he needs more than that to survive the round. And they figure out the combination to this safe. I don't believe what we're seeing here. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the dangerous part. And he misses with the left uppercut. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. the momentum they've got the advantage how do they carry that and there's the bell to start round four right punch that left scores both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? So one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. It prevents that left uppercut from scoring. defense here at all. Hey, those punches add up. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the back. You've got to relax. This 
This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. The referee calling for seconds out. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather. And here's the bell to start round five. certainly an aggressive fighter but that doesn't always mean success how many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo i've seen some aggressive fighters like this and they are a nightmare if you are not fit if you are not fit that is the worst place to be having second thoughts in the ring There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Why aren't they defending? Oh, Wilder just got clipped and he's in a world of trouble. I don't know if I've ever seen him this hurt before. This guy certainly has a huge chin. There's a right hand. Oh, Wilder just got clipped and he's in a world of trouble. I don't know if I've ever seen him this hurt before. Just one punch away from getting the momentum back. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. put in for this Here's the bell to start round six. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Hard, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Punch. Oh, that punch. This fight has a real good flow to it. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. And we've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. left land why aren't 
they keeping their gloves up? And Deontay Wilder just got clipped. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. You've heard the old phrase. Here comes round seven. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those cold areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and... He's got him right where he wants him. Now what? Can he close the show? Just got clipped and he's in a world of trouble. And the bronze bomber goes down. Another scoring shot. That punch lands. That punch. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. the game plan there's the bell to start round eight when you're a power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone forget tactics they know the second they touch you it's done that's where the confidence comes from to life now, starting to land some punches. Good punch. He threw the hook, didn't land. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. That left hook misses. It just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Stamina is always an issue. See how much fatigue we see here in round nine. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them nonstop. 
But you're getting in there with someone that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get. And Deontay Wilder just got clipped. And down goes Wilder. and he's in a world of trouble. I don't know if I've ever seen him this hurt before. Are they out on their feet here? Nice exchange here from both men. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. Boy, this next round is going to... Where's the bell for round 10? Missed him with that uppercut. Giving us a high tempo show. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Let me explain to you about a fast fight, a fast fight that's got hand speed and footwork. So relax. Thank you. Oh, Wilder just got clipped, and he's in a world of trouble. I don't know if I've ever seen him this hurt before. True champion knows how to get out of trouble after they got into trouble, and that's what he's doing here. A nice exchange just from both men in this round. Just missed with that hook. That hook was thrown with some bad intention. Fury just got clipped. The big fella might be in big trouble. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. These two fighters gassing out as this fight. This is the 11th. We've entered the championship round. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire with fight. You either give it them back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, hold cool. He just missed with that left jab. Lucky to have avoided that left uppercut.
Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you've just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in the guess. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, what a punch! Caution is being thrown to the wind! here at all. Tyson Fury just got buzzed. And down goes Fury. Swing that's going to be considered. Who thought we would have made it to 12? We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, thinking you just have to be smarter than them. You've got to be like a little favorite and pick possible. Not many of the people in the division hit like them. Doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Nice punch. and he's in a world of trouble. I don't know if I've ever seen him this hurt before. His foundation appears to be okay, but when you put those gloves that high, you know that you're in trouble. We almost saw a knockout a second ago, and now they're going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Excited decision there, a unanimous one. What a whitewash. You know, that's skills, that's class, that's levels. One is up there, one is down there, but you know what? The loser is going to have to learn, learn a big, big, hard lesson. I totally agree.